Hello traders, FS Pip Coletti here. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. Now on the monthly, I still think that we're in a wave C. I still think that this is all part of that wave C right there, and any moves that we get to the downside are going to be corrects to the uptrend and this is eventually going to most likely end up looking something like that. I still think this 100% Fibonacci extension is the most likely place for this wave C to end before it makes a move to the downside. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, we can kind of start to see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. This looks like an ABC. It does kind of look like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there also, and then another ABC, and another little uptrend, and another ABC down. I think that we may have already ended us ABC right here at the 61.8, and we just can't really prove it yet by seeing a structure break on the sort of time frames, but if that's true, this ABC will be cause the continuation of the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily. On the daily is where you can actually start to see that this is a downtrend for the A, three ways up for the B. This looks like a downtrend for the C, and I still think there's a very good likelihood that this is the end of a crutching right at the 61.8. It has not taken out Strutzer yet, so it isn't proven to be over yet, but I still think that this will take out Strutzer, and it will start making higher highs and higher lows, ending this wave C. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, I think this right here is an uptrend. I think this move down is an A, I think this is a B, and I think we're going down right now for a wave C. Probably going to at least a 38, it definitely could go to the 50 or maybe even the 61.8. Before it makes an impulsive move up, takes out Strutzer, and I think it's going to end up continuing the uptrend. I think there's even a good chance this is like a 1, this is a 2, and then we go up for a wave 3. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. Zoom out just a little bit. On the one hour, I see this is a downtrend, a wave A. Definitely see three waves up, wave B. This looks like a one, two, three, four, and we're probably going to go down for at least a wave five to the 38.2. If it makes an impulsive turn, if it takes out that structure, that will pretty much prove to me that the wave C is over, and I would definitely be looking for longs at that point, especially at the end of any pullbacks we might see. For the continuation of what could end up being a big wave 3. I think there's a chance this could be a 1, this could be a 2, and then we go up for that wave 3. So that is my forecast on the pound US dollar. If you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Discord. The link to my free Discord is in the description. Thanks and happy trading.